Good evening, I'm Alice Phelps, the musical director of the Bradford Friendship Choir. Thank you so much for tuning in to witness the online premiere of the first ever digital collaboration between the Bradford Friendship Choir and the Bradford Festival Choral Society. This project has been made possible through funding by Arts Council England. Over the last 18 months, both choirs have sustained themselves successfully online, with members tuning in each week for live sessions over Zoom. Although we're both now returning in some capacity to in-person sessions, the Bradford Friendship Choir is going to continue to offer online sessions alongside the in-person sessions, so that it remains as accessible as possible to all of our members, wherever they are and whatever their circumstances. Now, I've had the lovely job of arranging the two songs you're about to hear for the choirs to sing together. The Bradford Friendship Choir and the Choral Society um, approach music making in quite different ways. Um, the Bradford Friendship Choir learns everything by ear and the Choral Society are all brilliant at reading musical notation. However, I think you'll find that in these videos, those differences in approach become inconsequential. And by joining forces, we've created a sort of hybrid choir, which sounds amazing and totally unique. Um, I want to just take this opportunity to say a big well done and a big thank you to everyone who was involved in this project. Um, to all of the choir members who braved technology and the horrors of guide tracks and we transfer and headphones. Um, I know it wasn't easy for a lot of you and um, I really appreciate the time you put in and I think you'll agree um, that by taking part you've helped to create something pretty special. So without further ado, our first song. It's a Zulu celebration song called Jikalele which can be roughly translated as universal or across the world. <laughs> This collaboration would never have happened without the support of a wonderful woman called Karen Jones. Karen is a member of both the Bradford Friendship Choir and the Bradford Festival Choral Society 
and we met up on Zoom a few evenings ago to have a quick chat about the project. So um, here we've got Karen Jones, who is our trustee and valued choir member. And thank you for joining me. Um, I wanted to ask you, why did you include this particular project in the Arts Council bid? Because our choirs have worked together so well over the years. Um, and I think it's an opportunity to have some tangible evidence of that, par that, that partnership. Obviously at the moment we can't um, join together on the stage um, and sing in the same room, but um, we have worked closely together during the pandemic in all sorts of ways. And I think it's important to mark that and to celebrate our relationship with each other. Yeah, absolutely. And personally, I really hope it's going to be the start of more collaborations between the two choirs. Yes, absolutely. I think I think the way that everyone's embraced it from both choirs um, it has been wonderful. And there's been a real strong, lots of friendships grown up, really. Um, and yeah, we, we need to we need to get on that stage again together in real time, in real life. And, and I think that's the that's the aim next, really. But for the moment, we've got this um, this virtual recording, which will um, see us through for the moment. Absolutely. It's a really good first step. Fabulous. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me, Karen. And uh, let's watch the second video. Yeah, looking forward to it. Our second and final song is called Here Is My Home. It's by American songwriter and civil rights activist Sai Khan. I would absolutely recommend looking up Sai Khan as he's a really interesting character who has had a fascinating life. Um, the hopeful message of unity and belonging resonates particularly with the Bradford Friendship Choir, as many of our members have themselves been displaced and have had to build communities and connections uh, far from their own homes. Good friends from whom we now must part Where are we bound? Your hands and voices lift 